Hey there, Ben Lepper here. Today I want to walk you through how to code Backlash. Now, if you're going to be following along, if you built a robot like this, this guy's called Backlash. If you built a similar one called Revolver or any of those robots, this video is for you. If you want to follow along, there is a document that actually goes with this where I show you basically what all the code looks like, how all that good stuff works. So if you're interested in that, there's a link underneath this video. You can go ahead and click it. Um, I'll send you all the details. It actually, there's details on how to code Backlash and how to code a bunch of other robots. So as you guys um, are basically building and coding, you will have all the resources where you need it. Basically what I'm calling my coding academy for this year. So it's totally free totally on me But go ahead click the link under this video get access to that and then let's go ahead and dive in to building Backlash now, how do you code this thing? Let's go ahead and jump onto my screen I'm just gonna kind of show you exactly what this looks like the first step anytime you're coding any robot is to click this button up here this is devices and Obviously pick whether you have first or second generation brain and we always add our drivetrain as the first thing So I'm gonna add my drivetrain um, When you add your drivetrain, it's basically that old spaghetti game You probably played as a kid where it's those like maze books and stuff The idea is you just have to figure out where everything's plugged in. So here's my drive motors um, And I'm gonna follow their wires and I can see they're plugged in in three and nine It looks like yeah, that's right three and nine um, and then obviously you have to figure out which one's on the left, which one's on the right. So I'm gonna hold the robot like this, pretend I am sitting in it just like so. This side is gonna be the left side, so that's gonna be um, three, and then right side will be nine. So I'm gonna hop over here. Here's three for the left motor. Whoa. Yeah. There's three for the left motor, nine for the right motor. Uncheck gyro or click no gyro if that's what it says, and hit done. Perfect. Now we're gonna add another device. We're gonna go ahead and add our gate. So the gate is this section on the back right here where you just kind of like open, close, open, close um, to help hold the pins in. So I'm going to go ahead and that's a single motor that's controlling it. So I'll hit motor. That motor is plugged in. Oh dear, where is it plugged in? To seven. It's plugged into seven. Um, I'm going to call it the gate that will open and close. Perfect. Done. All right. Next step is I'm going to go ahead and add a motor group because if you look right here, I've actually got two motors on my conveyor. Both of these motors are going to be what like always spinning together just like so. And so I need to make sure I have a conveyor that's going to be basically it'll always spin both these motors. These motors, I can just go ahead and trace them right now. Looks like conveyor goes into eight and two. So I think we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and jump back onto my screen. I will add a motor group that is in ports eight and two. And this uh, conveyor goes up and down. I forgot to name it conveyor. Perfect. Um, anytime you add a motor group, you'll always reverse one of them. Which one needs reversing? I don't know. I'm going to reverse one of them randomly. And then if it has issues, we'll fix that later. Now we're going to go ahead and add one more device. You always add a controller last. And then this is where things get fun. Basically, all you get to do is you get to pick how do you want to drive your robot. I'm going to drive it. Basically, you just click it and it like cycles through all of them. This is the one that I like most. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw my conveyor up here on the left buttons, throw my gate on the right buttons, and hit done. All right, we're in great shape. So now I could actually go ahead and take this. I'm going to go ahead and plug into my robot real quick. You'll see the brain light up green in like two seconds. There it is. Hit download. And I could actually just download this code and run it, and it will actually go ahead and operate. So here we are. I've got my robot just like so. I've got my controller just like so. Ah, uh, you can't see if I put it there. Let's see if I put it here, kind of. Um, basically, I've got my driving. So drive forward, drive reverse. So if I put it behind you, you can see better. Those forward, backward, here's turning. You can see, all right, that's all correct. Then let's go to test conveyor. So that's gonna be this button right here. Oh, right, you can't see it, but that is spinning backwards. I've got myself a pin right here. So if I like put this guy in here and then I'm gonna push the down button. The down button's supposed to spit it, spit it out and it's going up and then the up button is supposed to make it, basically it's, it's reversed. So I gotta reverse my conveyor. Let's go and check out my gate. This, here you can see the gate if I probably tilt it up. There you go. Gate, if I push up, it's supposed to open. Down, it's supposed to close. So that's correct. The only thing that's backwards is uh, my conveyor. So let me go ahead and show you how to fix that. So here we are. 
uh, conveyor, we are going to go ahead and reverse both of them. You're like, well, I already reversed one. So just reverse the other. Remember, I told you one and only one will always be reversed in a motor group. So make sure that you just have the other one reversed, basically. Done. We're good to go there. The last step now is, I don't know if you saw it, but I saw that my things were running slowly. So I am going to go ahead and set the velocity to 100%. I don't know why, but Vexcode has an issue where it defaults to 50%. So you always make sure you set all your velocities to 100%, and that should put us in really good shape. All right, so here we are. We can go ahead and test out our code once again. I've got forward, backward, turn, turn, I've got up, down, look at that, that's much faster, and now I've got the control of my gate, and you can kind of see that moving back here for just a little bit. Sweet. Whoa. So, you'd say, Ben, I think you're done. But actually, there's one other thing that I like to do. Actually, let me show you on the robot. Basically, one other thing that I do like to do is, ordinarily, when I'm driving, I'm you know, driving a match and everything, I like to be able to just click this button and have the conveyor run continuously. I don't like to have to hold this as I'm like driving around and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so you tap this button and it, drive, and it spins and then tap this button and it'll stop. Um, and I'm actually going to also make it so if you hold this button, it's going to go ahead and spin backwards. So let's go ahead and do that. So anytime you code something, you pull it off here. So conveyor, I'm going to pull it off of my L buttons. Done. Now I'm going to go ahead and... Hit controller. Anytime L up is pressed, go ahead and spin my conveyor up. You got it. Anytime L down is pressed, uh, actually let's do L down released. I'll show you why in a minute. But anytime L down is released, go ahead and stop the conveyor. So basically it'll be spinning quite a bit here. So here we are. If I go ahead and I push L up, oh, oops, let's start the code. So L up, spin, and stop. Spin, stop, spin, stop. So you can kind of see that. Now you're like, all right, then that's cool, but what about spinning backwards? Check this out. Now, what if instead of just having L up pressed, I said when L down is pressed? Go ahead and spin down. And here we are again. So, got my robot, I can, oops. Brain crashed. This happens every once in a while with Gen 1 brains. The new software doesn't agree with them. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and push up, it spins, down and it stops, and hold down and it goes backwards. Isn't that cool? Up. Reverse, and we're good. If I wanted to go ahead and test this out, remember, close your gate before you pick up pins. Drive forward, pick that puppy up, and I've got it in my back here. It's actually not in properly because the programming cable's in here, so I'm gonna pull this guy out. And I think our robot is ready to rock and roll. There you go, and just drive away. Sweet. So that is just about all you need to know in order to be able to program Backlash. So hopefully that was a good start. If you've got some more complicated mechanism like a revolver, you can actually use the same mechanism we use to code the gate um, to code just about anything else. So hopefully that'll provide you with all the resources you need. Like I said before though, go ahead, click the link underneath this video. I wanna make sure you get access to my full coding academy, totally free, totally on me. I just wanna make sure that you are able to code any and all robots that you designed this year. So like I said, click that link below the video. As always, like and subscribe, and I cannot wait to see what you build this year.